This video features a selection of the new and updated features from the June 2025 release. The full list of features can be found in the June 2025 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month, we're excited to highlight the following features. In Admin Tools, the new Courses tool is now available in production environments, providing users with an enhanced course management experience. In Portfolio, the new WYSIWYG text editor for feedback is now available. In the Copy Course Bulk tool and Copy Course Components tool, administrators can now copy course completion tracking settings. In the Homepage Widget Expansion Pack, the Slim Announcements widget now features a visual update. Still in the pack, the Awards Leaderboard widget adds two new configuration options, Username Masking and Sorting Control across all courses. The Multi-Profile widget also receives several usability and performance enhancements. To wrap things up, we will go over changes to other key features and share a few announcements. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. This month, Brightspace introduces the new Courses tool in production environments, offering a streamlined and accessible experience for creating, copying, and searching for courses and course templates. Located in Admin Tools, the new Courses tool enables users to search for courses using modern filters, create courses by completing required fields such as name and code, and optionally navigate directly to the course admin page of a course. This functionality features a consistent layout and workflows that align with class list, quizzes, and users for faster course management. This feature implements the following PI items. D892, create course offering should not load all templates. D2237, course management and course offering information start and end dates should be consistent. D2829, Semester Order, Manually Creating Courses. D2880, Course Management Search Functionality Needs Improvement. D4108, Expanded Search Options in Course Management. D4221, Provide Option to List More Than 10 Courses at a Time in the Admin Course Management Page List. D4342, Redevelop Course Management. D8156, alphabetize create course offering semester list. Thank you to those who put forward these PI suggestions. In Portfolio, instructors can now format their feedback using bold, italic, or underlined text styles through the new What You See Is What You Get, or WYSIWYG text editor. They also gain access to new options, including Insert Quick Link, Insert Image, and Insert Stuff. These enhancements make it easier than ever to create clear, engaging, and personalized feedback in Portfolio. This feature implements the following PI items. D9582, add WYSIWYG editor for educator feedback in the portfolio tool. D5066, portfolio attached feedback files. Thank you to those who put forward these PI suggestions. Administrators can now copy the completion tracking settings when duplicating courses using the Copy Course Bulk tool or while using the Copy Course Components tool with course offerings. This feature is part of the Manager Dashboard and Learning Group's add-on solution, which must be purchased separately. It is already available to all clients who have Brightspace Core for Corporate and the Upskilling for EDU add-on package. For more information, contact your D2L Client Sales Executive or Account Manager. This feature implements the following PI items. D11807, Reset Course Status Progress on a per-user and or per-module basis. D6197, Reissue of Completion Certificate and Reset of Course Progress for the same course offering. Thank you to those who put forward these PI suggestions. In the Slim Announcements widget, images now appear above the text instead of beside it, giving both elements full width display. This change improves readability, especially on narrower home pages where the previous side-by-side -side layout made images smaller and the text harder to read. 
The Slim Announcements widget is part of the Homepage Widget Expansion Pack add-on solution that must be purchased separately. For more information, contact your D2L Client Sales Executive or Account Manager. This release introduces two configuration options for the Awards Leaderboard widget to help administrators manage it more easily across the organization. First, administrators can now mask student names and profile images across all instances of the widget to enhance learner privacy, especially in shared or public environments. This feature is controlled by configuration variable, which is off by default. Even when masking is enabled, learners can still see their own name and profile image, while instructors with the See Masked User Details permission can continue to view full details. Second, a new setting allows organizations to standardize the sorting order of awards in the widget, ensuring a consistent experience across all courses. If enabled, the Sort By menu items in the widget are disabled. Previously, sorting by credits or number of awards had to be configured one course at a time. The Awards Leaderboard widget is part of the Homepage Widget Expansion Pack add-on solution that must be purchased separately. For more information, contact your D2L Client Sales Executive or Account Manager. This month's release brings usability and performance upgrades to the multi-profile widget. Now migrated to the native Brightspace domain, the widget offers improved performance and resolves image loading issues caused by blocked third-party cookies. It also introduces updated configuration options, a new tabbed modal for easier setup, clearer in-widget instructions, and improved error messages, while maintaining full feature parity with previous versions. Error handling has been enhanced with specific messages for permission and configuration issues. As well, images now load correctly, even with strict browser settings. Language terms for the widget are now managed in the Web Components Tool Package under the Homepage Widget Expansion Pack collection in the Language Management Tool. Widget configuration is now easier to access and navigate. All settings appear in a new tabbed modal under the Configure This Widget menu, replacing the former Setup Wizard. In Widget Guidance has also been improved, with new prompts when no display rules are selected and clear instructions for customizing headings. The multi-profile widget is part of the Homepage Widget Expansion Pack add-on solution that must be purchased separately. For more information, contact your D2L Client Sales Executive or Account Manager. Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. The Brightspace Editor now uses TinyMCE version 7.7.0, and while there are no functional changes, users are encouraged to review their HTML content to ensure it appears and functions as intended. When using the new Bulk Grade Value APIs, developers can now retrieve grade values in bulk for an individual user, a specific org unit, or all course offerings under a parent org unit. In quizzes, instructors can now restrict quiz access based on either IPv4 or IPv6 address ranges. The Awards tool introduces the new replacement strings, issuer first name and issuer last name for certificate templates. In Student Success System, the preparedness domain is fully removed. Before wrapping up, here are two announcements we're excited to share. As of the June 2025 release, Brightspace now supports Maori, its 21st language, highlighting D2L's commitment to language preservation and inclusive education. Brightspace now integrates with Seesaw, giving access to its K-5 content library starting in the June 2025 release. In Canada, Seesaw solutions are also available for purchase through D2L. For more information, contact your D2L Client Sales Executive or Account Manager. Also in June, D2L unlisted outdated Brightspace tutorial videos that no longer reflect current interfaces and workflows. Embedded links in Brightspace documentation have already been updated to point to the latest versions. For a list of affected videos, refer to the Unlisting and Removal of Brightspace Tutorial Videos link in the video description box. 
We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the June 2025 version 2025.06 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!